Hello, everybody. Um, I want to do a little talk about programming your EV3 robot using Graphical Robot C. And I want to talk about a particular challenge I'm giving my students, which is to do a maze challenge. So I have an essential question. And it's the idea of, like, how do you program a robot to move in a predetermined but complex path? And then I'd like you to design an algorithm for a robot challenge and use the algorithm to program that robot to travel through a maze from one side to the other while not crossing over the pre-marked lines on a course. Now, here's the course. And your robot starts where the start is behind that gray line, and it has to follow, trying not to touch those lines all the way to the finish. Okay. Now, one of the things that I want to show you is how you can write an algorithm. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is think about where's your robot going to start and how is it going to go through this maze. You're not trying to think about how you're going to program it just yet. So I would think in terms of really bro broken down into steps, it's just a series of drive forward, turn, drive, turn, drive, turn, drive, turn, drive, turn, like that. You may choose to do a turn that is, you, you might come out here, turn partway, go forward, turn again, and then go forward. So this could be a drive forward however many inches, turn a certain amount, drive forward a certain amount, turn a certain amount, drive forward. And I'm going to try to program the robot to get to here, and I'll show you my process of writing an algorithm, my pro process of programming, and I'm going to use the gyro sensor to do it. In order to help, the gyro sensor is a pretty cool sensor because you can basically start it where you reset the sensor and whatever direction it's pointing becomes a, a heading of zero. So I want to start heading in the same direction as this line right along here. So I'm going to line my robot with that line and then I'm going to want it to turn and then head this way. So in order to help, I went online and I found a protractor. Now normally, I just tell you to print out a protractor. I'll show you the protractor. So I just took this picture, I believe, or maybe it was this one. Yeah, this is the one I used. Notice how it's invisible, so you can kind of see behind it. It's got a transparency, I should say. So I copied that, and you can just print it out, and you can put it on your course or wherever you want to go. Or you can do what I'm doing, and that's this. So what I did is I aligned this protractor up, and I wanted to make sure that the angle of the protractor matches the angle of this line. And notice zero is over here. So if my robot is facing this way to the right, I will know that it will begin heading towards zero. And I want to take this section here and move it out. I want to go about halfway about here. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is get a ruler or a measuring tape and measure out to this point. And I'm going to get that information down. So let me go measure that right now. Okay, I measured it out. Turns out I want to go 17 inches forward and then I'm going to turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out in pseudocode what I want to do. For this, I'm using a tool called Notepad++. You can download it for free. Or you can just click on here, type out Notepad, and you can just get regular Notepad. You could do it in Word or any other uh, word processing document. I'm going to do mine in Notepad++, and I'm going to put on here Maze Challenge Algorithm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan the whole thing out before I do any programming. And so I'm going to drive forward 17 inches. That's my first, and we're calling this pseudocode. So basically, drive forward 17 inches, and then I want to turn. And if you look here, pretty much turning 90 degrees is about right. So this is actually not too difficult, right? First turn would be 90 degrees. You could probably do another 90 degree turn. In fact, you're going to be doing 90 degree turns pretty much until you get to this section here, in which case you're going to probably want to do something a little different. Okay, But this is going to be turn to the right 90 degrees. Okay, So that's my first step. And what I want to do is sort of work this thing um, the whole way. So if that's 90 degrees, 
after the end, we're going to turn back to the left, probably 90 degrees also. So if you notice, it's pretty much a right angle going around here. So I need to figure out how far I need to travel this way before I turn 90 degrees again. So I'll go measure that, and then I'll get measure how far I want to drive along this segment, and then I'll write that down as well. Okay, so I measured it out. I'm thinking about nine and a half inches this way, 16 inches that way. So now this should get me to my robot in this location facing this way. Now I would go through and follow that process the rest of the way. But for now, I want to just at least get it this far and test it out. Um, if you're doing this and you're one of my students, I want you to write down the entire algorithm first. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it for you. That's why I'm stopping at step six. But if you wanted to, you could do what's called an iterative development, and you can write it all out. Now, one of the things I'm gonna want you to do is you're gonna to have to configure your robot on robot C. And I want you to take your algorithm and put them into comments. So let me show you how I would do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up robot C, and I'm gonna do it the graphical robot C. So I'm gonna click on here, open it up, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna work back and forth with these steps here. So the first thing I wanna do is create a new file. We'll call it the maze challenge. So I'd create it and save it right then and there. So I create my maze challenge. And then I'm going to dr drag this comment up here. I just put it here. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it maze challenge. You don't have to make a comment here, but it wouldn't hurt. And then you can put another comment and you can write actually write your name. Bye. All right, so then I'm going to grab one more comment, and that's going to be my first command, which is drive forward 17 inches. And it's not copying or pasting. Ugh. Let's say 17 inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. And then I'm going to copy this comment. And I'm going to paste. And just edit the number here. And then I'm going to turn left to 90 degrees. So I'm going to cop copy that comment. Paste it in. Okay, so what you see what I've done is I've gone ahead and put in all of my comments first. Then I'm going to program in between. Now, before I drive forward 17 inches, I'm going to make use of a sensor. And let's just see if I have it set up here. I'm going to make use of the gyro sensor in sensor 2. Let me make sure I've got it set up at this point. I'm going to have to install it. One of the things about the gyro sensor is in the gyro sensor, we'll take a look down here. There's reset motor encoder. Ah, reset gyro. That's the first thing you want to do. So we're going to actually do that before we even drive it, and we're going to wait a moment. So I'm going to add one more comment in, and then I'll add that. And I recommend you do the same thing. Reset gyro to zero degrees, heading, and wait half a second before moving. And it's just the waiting is uh, a way of just kind of making sure every, the gyro is set. If you bump it right after you press start, it gives you a little chance to sort of do that. So we're going to go ahead. Now we're going to go down, and we're going to do that um, reset gyro. I'm going to put it right here, and it's the gyro center. So that's just going to set it to zero, and then we're going to do a wait, which is another one of these blocks here. Now, you may be coding yours in uh, Robot C uh, standard. 
And um, so I'm going to just put 0.5 seconds. Wait. Okay. One of the things that's cool is when I'm done, I'm, I'm going to show you how this is coded using standard coding, but I'll start with the blocks. And so these two lines of code are how we reset gyro to zero degrees and wait half a second. So the reason why we have this comment here is it's, it's a good reminder of what we need to do. And it also tells other people why we're doing or what we are doing. Okay. So you might not know that resetting gyro sets it to zero wherever it's moving. Okay, the comment there tells you you're doing that, and the code is you're actually doing it here. So driving forward 17 inches is the next thing we need to do. Now, one of the things we could do here is we're going to do a little bit of math. Okay, so I'm going to write out a calculation for driving forward 17 inches. And what it's going to require is for you to get the diameter or the radius of your wheel and do a little bit of um, little bit of geometry, right? So when I measure my wheel, I see it's two and three quarters of an inch in diameter. So I'm going to put a little bit of note. So in order to figure out how far we want to go, if we want to go 17 inches, we want to compute this in a smart way using a little bit of math. So note the following items. Number one, wheel diameter is 2.75 inches. Is yours the same? If not, you're going to want to change that number. Number two, one complete rotation of the wheel, which you can program, will be the circumference of the wheel. So if you can figure out the circumference, you can figure out how far it's going to go. So if you have a, a diameter of 2.75 inches and you multiply it by pi, you will find out that one complete rotation will be 8.64 inches. So if you want to figure out how, many, how, uh, how to go exactly 17 inches, you can divide 17 by this number and then divide that by 360, the number of degrees in a rotation. Because one rotation, 360 degrees, equals 8.64. Let's write it as a formula. All right, so here is where I show you the math of what we're doing here. So first of all, distance is equal to circumference times rotation. One rotation will be 8.64 inches, right? So. All, it, we know the distance. We know it's 17 inches we want to go. Um, we know the circumference because the circumference is going to be 8.64. So what we do is we put that in. So it's going to be 17 equals 8.64 times rotations. So now we solve for rotations, which is 17 divided by 8.64, which is equal to 1.97, almost two rotations. Then... If one rotation is 360 degrees, then all we have to do is know that degrees are going to be rotations times 360. We already know how many rotations, so we solve for it by substituting the rotations, 1.97 times 360, and the answer is about 709 degrees. So we know we want to go that far, 709 degrees Forward gives us 17 inches. So I want to drive forward. I'm going to do it in degrees. And we're going to type in 709. Is that what I said? Yeah, 709 degrees forward. And we'll do it at, uh, let's do it at 30% power. You see how I did the math there? Now, you've got the formula here, and you could write the whole formula out. You could even write a function that will do all of that for you in robot C. I just don't know how to do it in graphical robot C. We've got variables, and we have a variable expression. So maybe on my next version of this video, I will show you how to do that. I'd have to take a look at it and play around with it a little bit. Um, turn right 90 degrees. I'll show you that in just a moment. I want to go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to test it out and take a picture and see what it, see how it does, see how close I am to getting this to work the first time. This is the first time, this is the first time I'm uploading this program to the robot. 
Um, I've just installed it here. I'm going to lift it up, and then I'm going to press start. Actually, I can't really do that. So um, we're just going to go over and make sure it's been downloaded. And so I click RC, and we're looking for Maze Challenge. That's the one. So I'm going to go ahead over here and stop that. And then we're going to test it out. So if we look at the wheel, I'm measuring out 17 inches from the front of the wheel to where the green ruler is. I bumped it a little bit. So I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try it anyway. I'd say that's pretty accurate. Okay, so it worked. Math came through. Okay, now that I got that working, and it actually worked the first time, I was pretty amazed, almost, because you never know what you're going to get with robots. Um, they're always kind of wacky at times. In my next video, I want to show you about the gyro sensor and how we can do our best to turn exactly 90 degrees to the right. So stay tuned for that video.